music means to me uh, the the traditions and the cultures that uh, bring people together. Uh, my heritage is is Chilean on my mother's side, Pakistani on my father's side, and, and in both Hispanic culture and South Asian Indian culture, music is a very powerful glue between people. Whether it's the Sufi tradition in Pakistan or whether it's Kweka in Chile, people are dancing, people are celebrating music together. And even in Chicago, where I, where I was born and raised, the blues has always been a force of bringing people together. So for me, music is, on one hand, a very spiritual, very uh, technical, and very complex form, but it also doesn't complete its mission until it reaches the people. So for me, music has always been about connecting to culture. In terms of playing with a large ensemble in an amplified context, I pretty much gave up playing Spanish guitar until I began to uh, explore the, the, the instruments that Alhambra was making. And one of the advantages of the traditional Spanish construction is that it, it evolved over centuries and, be, and understood the way the human hand interacts with the string. And, uh, and that was a real revelation for me. You know, for the longest time I've been asking people to create a, a thin line of classical guitar with a pickup and a microphone inside. Hand bracing, you know, traditional Spanish history. And Alhambra has done that. And it, it, it's not really um, that complex a thing to do, but it just needed to be done. You know, no one had been doing it. Um, I think the Alhambra sounds about as close to a concert classical guitar. As, as any amplified classic. I mean, I'm playing a gig, you know, and they're like, wow, man, you know, how did you amplify the classical guitar? I said, I just plugged it into my amp. <laughs> you know, I got to tweak a little bit here, and I sent I a line to the house, mic on the amp, mix the line and the amp together, maybe put a mic on the guitar as well, and mix those three signals together. You know, you can get more complicated or you can be simpler about it. Um, I think that the, the greatest compliment I had was when the dean of Northern Illinois University's music school heard me playing the Alhambra solo, accompanying a choir, right? One guitar and a choir. The only reason you write a piece for one guitar and a choir is because the one guitar has to sound beautiful. I had my Alhambra guitar and a little amp. And he heard that performance. It was a webcast, and he heard it on a webcast. And that night he emailed me, I can't believe what a beautiful sound. And that was it for me. And so to retain that acoustic quality at a higher volume, you need a guitar that has the traditional bracing and the traditional construction of a Spanish guitar. That's what the Alhambra guitars bring, is a, a, the understanding of the tradition and excellent electronics and the thinner, the thin line uh, construction of, of the, uh, the model I play on stage um, eliminates feedback and gets rid of a lot of those bass um, overtones that, that are going to be problems. So I can play at rock concert volumes and with no real issues in terms of feedback. And the Alhambra guitar allows that. I think, you know, for classical guitar to survive in the 21st century, it needs to compete with the automobiles and the buses and the construction traffic <laughs> and all the noise in our world. You know? So uh, we need a little more power. I think the Alhambra's going to give us that.